In today's session, I'm going to cover uh, Google Ads responsive search ads, uh, how to make them, what they are, why you should uh, use them, and how it can make your CTR, your conversion rate, um, your cost per uh, click, uh, and your cost per acquisition um, go in the right direction. So we have covered lots of various uh, ads in the past. So what I'll do is I'm going to go into the interface. Now, those of you who have been in these sessions before, you know that I don't normally tend to write ads directly in the interface. I tend to use a Google Sheet or an Excel spreadsheet whichever one is uh, whichever one you're uh, happy with and uh, write your ads in there but for the responsive search ads um, I come in here and it is for a reason why so what I'm going to do is we go into our Google Ads campaign setup and go into your ad group and then you have the choice of either adding a text ad or a responsive search ad now the reason why you see three boxes you can add more as well if you like but the google best practices uh, for each campaign or ad group is two responsive uh two uh I beg your pardon extra expanded text ads and one responsive search ad so this is why they are showing you two over here and one there so we don't want to go in there we can go certainly go in there and if you want to know what this is all about you can hover the mouse over the little question mark bubble and the pop-up will come up and then you can read but it's just the basic stuff about that ad click on the responsive search ad so the first thing you will see is the final URL so I'm gonna put my URL what was so this is for one of our website pages uh, for um, a web design and the reason why I'm going to make a proper ad and not just put in test or dummy text in these ads because um, we want to see the ad strength and this is what this interface will show you over here on the right hand side and over there because right now it shows you as incomplete which it is because we haven't quite started yet and we'll start adding more headlines and keywords and descriptions and so on then you can put in your path one and path two and design and then you can put in now our town is quite long I don't think it will okay so I can put in web design like something like that then what you want to do is to add a handful of headlines and a handful of descriptions and what Google will do is going to use various headlines combination and description to try and make that perfect ad so what they are going to do is to do all the split testing for us so we don't need to make more multiple ads all we do is just throw in the bunch of headlines here some descriptions and on sometimes Google is going to take headline one headline four with description one headline five headline seven description two and so on so it's going to test different variations of the of your uh, messages and see which one resonates the most with with your audience so let's start with website works I can put in a question mark now when you type in or you hover the mouse you will find a little pin so you can pin that headline if you want to show that headline always as the headline one so you'll see over here pinning one headline or description causes it to show only in that specific position preventing others from showing in its place so if it was your brand name or something like that in fact you know what I could, should do put my brand name over here web design 
Okay, it won't. So I might just put in so well, that fits in. Sometimes it's not ideal, but at least it is going to do. What you can also do then is as you start typing in, it's going to open up a, a drop down and give me some ideas as to what I ought to put in. I don't want to call phone number in here because Google quite often disapproves the ads when you put in phone numbers in your headlines. So I'm not sure why this is prompting me to put it in. But something like this, start a conversation, I don't like that headline at all. If you are stuck for ideas, you can go in here and see what they are offering. So affordable website design is good. So that could go in the description as well. But I quite like the affordable bit, which is food able website design. Then what I can also do is put in some review, social proof over here, not reviews. So let's say if I've got a fair amount of reviews on my Google My Business page or something like that, GMB five star reviews. So we want to give Google lots of different um, headlines, uh, custom web design. If you're stuck for ideas, then all you do is go to Google, open up a new tab, search for that keyword web design, your city or town, and see what your competitors are up to. And um, don't copy it, but do something uh, different. But you can get start getting some ideas. Price is a good um, qualifier. So if I want to put in, say, let's say I'm just throwing in a number. So please don't come to me and say, can I have a 499 pound website? Because I'm going to say no. <laughs> Custom web design. That fits in there. Okay. If you guys have any ideas, then throw it in the comment box and we can start putting them in here. Now, as you can see, as I'm starting to write the headlines, this is starting to populate so make your headlines more unique so i've got uh, a green tick mark so that's quite good it's telling me to add more headlines and um, include popular keywords in your headlines and make your descriptions